How's it going there fellow junkies? It's Root Junkie here and today I have a video finally on the Nexus 6. Yes, I finally got this thing from Motorola and they shipped it out to me, got it in, in the house here and we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing, give you kind of a first uh, overview of the device and we'll go from there. So let's do this. So let's talk about specs on this device right here. This is the Nexus 6. Um, so OS we have is Android 5.0 Lollipop. This thing is sporting an insane display at 5.69 inches, which is 2560 by 1440 uh, Quad HD a mold display with a PPI of 493, which is quite awesome. It does have a 13 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization, dual LED rings around it with um, an aperture of 2.0, also does 4K video in 30 frames per second. Front facing camera is 2 megapixel HD conferencing is what it says which is very interesting. Uh, battery is a 3220 mAh which is quite nice. We do have an Adreno 420 GPU. The CPU is a quad-core Snapdragon 805 running at 2.7 gigahertz. Uh, really, really nice uh, processor right there. And then the beauty of the Nexus, at least for me on this one, is this does work on all carriers. Yes, that's right, even Verizon, which is what I have, and I am super pumped about it. So very, very excited about that. GSM, CDMA, LTE, it works on basically all bands that are available. So pretty pumped about that. So let's go ahead and open this sucker up. Um, pretty excited to see what we got in the box here. And whoa, feel the gravity. Slowly pulling. Chup, bam. There it is, that is the Nexus 6. This thing is ginormous. Let's go ahead and pull it out. Wow, that is a lot of phone. Very cool, set that thing down to the side and we'll see what we have in the box. So first things first is we have our Nexus 6 little portfolio full of all kinds of goodies. There you go, you got the 6 and whatnot on there. This is the stuff nobody ever reads, nobody cares about, so we'll leave that out of the way. Um, standard uh, USB to micro USB cable. And then just like the Droid Turbo, if you've seen that review video, you have the turbocharger power brick which actually charges your device at three different charging rates depending on how full or empty your battery is. So this is quite unique and very nice with the Nexus 6. Otherwise, I think that is everything in the box. Looks empty to me. So here you go. Not much to it, couple, couple devices. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this thing on and show you what we got. All right, so our center device here is that uh, Nexus 6 which is quite impressive. Let me go ahead and hit the power button. And you see your Google stuff right there. Now this thing is very, very, like, not flat on the back. So you're gonna feel some wobble when you set it on the table. Just for comparison, so you guys can see this, this is the Note 3 right here next to me, which is basically the same size as the Note 4. And then over here, I've got my Droid Turbo, which actually has the same turbocharger and um, basically a lot of the same specs as the Nexus 6, still by Motorola, um, but you can see it's quite a bit smaller with the 5 inch uh, screen. So there you go, there is your first initial setup. Man, am I excited for this. Let's go ahead and shoot through setup. If you guys have not seen this setup, it's really cool. I'm going to skip my SIM card for right this minute. You basically hook up to your Wi-Fi, which I'll do. You can feel that, see that wobble going on. Very hard to connect with uh, the wobble on a flat device like this. You're pretty much gonna have to hold this thing in your in your hand to do much typing on it. It just does not work well otherwise. So first thing it does is it goes ahead and checks for update. It didn't find any. So now it says you wanna set up with tap and go. Now if you haven't seen this before, it's very, very cool. I'm gonna try it with these two, the Turbo and the, the Nexus here, and hopefully the tap and go feature does function. So we're gonna go ahead and just pick up this device. Well, actually, let me make sure NFC is turned on on here because it does need NFC to function. Settings. 
Allow NFC, yes. There it goes, all right. So now the NFC is on here, NFC will be defaultly turned on on here. And you just hit them together. And then this one says use Bluetooth. And then you pull them apart. And literally it is that simple. Basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna take all the data and everything from here and it's gonna bring it to this device. Then what it's gonna do is it's gonna look up both your accounts uh, or any accounts you have for Google, your Gmail account. You're gonna put your passwords in over here on this device. And once you does that, it's gonna pull everything. All your apps are gonna really download. Everything's gonna start setting up all by itself. So there you go, I'll just show you that really quick. Again, I think it's an awesome feature. I absolutely love it for guys who wanna switch devices a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing set up and then I'll show you Lollipop on the Nexus 6. All right, so we are set up. Now, I think this is kind of unique and you guys can see this, I think it's kind of cool. Um, you see these things that have these white circles around them? Those are those apps that it is installing automatically for you. Wow, there's a lot more real estate on here. Look how many icon rows I'm gonna have. It's one more wire, so it's five wide and it's five tall because there's so much more real estate, you can put that many more icons on here. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm waiting on these things to install. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna put this dialer app where I want it just because I don't know why it's not there by default. And yeah, there's my basic setup. Wow, that's really nice. It even, it even redoes your home screens and everything. You obviously do have the Google Now feature, which you activate by saying, okay, Google, and then go rootjunkie.com. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay, Google, rootjunkie.com. Let's try that one. Uh, it's making me accept my stuff here really quick, hang on. And there you go, you can see you can go right to my website with the OK Google command. Getting all kinds of notifications coming in now, which is interesting. Um, so, we've talked a little bit about the OS, you can see it here, it, it's just stock, uh, lollipop, um, which is nice. And we'll go in here to settings and stuff. You do have flashlight right there, which is really, really cool. Standard airplane mode, different toggles, things like that. We'll go into settings really quick. And just show you guys the about phone. There it is, Nexus 6, Android 5.0. Build number 07M. And then I'm just going to tap on that, which is going to show you the lollipop Easter egg. There you go, very cool. We can tap on it, change colors, we can hold down and play the game, which is this little uh, guy, which is, game is nearly impossible, so I'm not even gonna hardly try here. I'll play one more, which is, ooh, I got through one. I think the rocking of the phone where helps me. <laughs> there you go, you can feel it rocking. So otherwise, let's let these things install, guys, and let's go ahead and check out just the hardware of this device. So to check out the physical hardware here, I've got to say, I really like this uh, setup right here. This is kind of cut, the Nexus is cut into the backing, which just gives it a real nice pop in silver there. You have the little dimple here, like you're seeing on all the new Motorola devices. And then you obviously have the dual LED camera, which looks like a very nice camera. I'm really excited to take some pictures with that along the back here. You've also got the a little, looks like a mic pickup right there on the bottom, tiny little hole. And then, I think it's kind of interesting, I don't know if you guys can make this out. Let me see if I can give you a close-up of it. Right here, you can see these two little marks. They're on every single corner. I'm not sure what that is. Some kind of a break in the banding, which is just, uh, just kind of curious. Um, so, other than that, let's go ahead and flip around the sides here. And as you can see, the volume buttons are kind of in the middle of the device which is actually nice because this is such a big device and the power button's right above it. So when you hold this thing in your hand, you do actually reach those, even if you hold it like you normally would here with your little pinky underneath, you reach that power button and the volume buttons very easily. You're not having to reach way up to the top of the screen. So um, that is definitely a uh, good placement of the buttons. So bottom there, right there, you can see the uh, micro USB port, standard, nothing exciting there. Along the side here, you have nothing on this side, and then top, looks like you have some kind of um, mic pickup or something right there. Um, actually, that might even, you know what, that might be the micro SIM tray. I'm guessing that's what that is. I'd have to look in my manual, ha, the one I don't ever read. And then right here, you obviously, you have the 3.5 headphone uh, jack right there. Let's go ahead and check out the front. 
So the front, as you can see, is kind of reflective, but um, you can kind of make it out right here. There is a uh, speaker right there, and then there actually is another speaker on the bottom. So you should have stereo audio and front facing at that. So I am super pumped about that feature. You do have a front facing camera right there by my thumb. Um, otherwise, pretty plain. Uh, your buttons are gonna be on screen, which you can see actually, we'll power it up really quick. So your buttons are right down there on screen, and which is cool. But uh, yeah, right there. I like that stereo. Pretty, pretty excited about that. Actually, speaking of stereo, let's go ahead really quickly. Go to YouTube really fast. And we'll go check out one of my videos, just so you guys can hear some audio. This is a pretty fun little video that okay, I just did. I've got a fun little review here. This is going to be on a new game called... Well, the Stay audio Hero. on the video is not the and best, but... It is very simple and very addictive, so let's go... But it's front-facing, and go ahead and hit I am play. liking it, but I know the audio and on the video is not the greatest, because I recorded it with another phone. And don't but still cool. Still cool that you can have those front-facing speakers. I'm really happy about that. I'm so sick of cupping my hand behind my phone to listen to something like on all the Samsung devices. It drives me crazy. So these front-facing speakers would be really nice. Well, there you go. That's going to be my uh, unboxing and first impressions of this device right here, the Nexus 6. I am super happy that we finally have a Nexus on Verizon again. So really, really pumped about that. Stay tuned for more videos on this device. I'll be doing all kinds of coverage once development keeps happening. You'll be seeing Unlock Bootloader's routing, custom recoveries, and whatnot, custom rounds, and all the cool mods and tricks you can be doing on this device. So stay tuned for that, and we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.